Hey guys, Tim here, and behind me is my tent. That's right, last night I slept in a tent. And no, it's not because the missus kicked me out for buying another car that I haven't told her about, but I'm actually here at the Mark II Owners Club National Meet. So yeah, we're here at Curve Sprint Circuit. It's an annual gathering of the Mark II Owners Club here in the UK. Counted up last night, there's about 31 Mark IIs here, and more have been arriving through the day. Now, on Saturday, it's Mark II only track action. So we're kind of all out on track. There's 20 of us going round, and with the exception of one boiling over, and a bit of a accident it's been pretty uneventful so looking at it we've got 20 cars lined up here all ready to go on the track now there's a couple of questions you might have it might be tim you said all your cars were broken so how are you here at a track day well truth is i fixed a couple so we had the jetta coupe which is a 1.6 automatic only needed a window regulator that's done the say ibiza that's fixed too but none of those are going to go on a mark ii track day so what did i bring I, it's one of my personal ones i bought it about five years ago and haven't really talked about it because it needs a lot of work well, the bodywork needs doing. Mechanically, it's amazing. So the car that I brought with me is this. This is my 1986 GTI Engineering Jetta GT Special. So walking down here, we've got a lot of familiar faces. So we've got Dave's 3.2 V6. We'll go out on that in a little bit and have a look around. We've got Rufus's and Project Vinny. So a little 1600 track car. Mark's, again, 1600 track car. Seems to be quite popular. Uh, we've got Ian's ABF Mark II, uh, it's a 16 valve, 2 litre out of a Mark III GTI. Then walking down here again, got a really nice Jetta Coupe, I'm going to take a look at that in a little bit. We've got some very clean, we've got a supercharged VR6 Mark II. So yeah, we've got Tim J and his. Yeah, there's so many cars, we're going to take a closer look at them in a little bit, but I need to get some laps in on the track. So while it's clear and there's not many people on the track, I'm going to get in the car and we're going to go for a drive. So here we are inside this Jetta GT Special. Now it's pretty much a standard Jetta. Excuse the headlining that literally fell down in the heat this week. I'm absolutely devastated. So we have a look in here. We've got a white GTI engineering steering wheel and the rest of it is all pretty familiar. Look, let's get out on the track and see what happens. So what's nice this year is the way that it's set up to get on and off the track. When you're coming off, basically drop to first gear and that lets us have this crossover. So it's kind of nice, it's helping us get on and off the track a lot quicker. In previous years, we'd wait till we got fully off the track. So we thought we'd try it this year and you know what, it's working really well. The track's flowing really nicely and we're, we seem to be getting more laps than, uh, than normal, which is great. So I'm just waiting for Tim to come off in his and here he comes. So he's coming in and away we go now obviously on this lap the idea is to kind of get some heat in the tires because we don't really start until we hit the uh, the timing beam saw monkey about to go out just as I was coming in so let's have a quick run down the paddock and see if I can jump in the day. There are some seriously nice Mark II's here so if you can get down next year do it just get yourself a 40 quid tent off Amazon and come on down it's totally worth it. We've got Ethan's red Mark II we saw on the show and shine. So it looks like we've had another one come off with mechanical issues and we've got Dave Hello Dave. 
So obviously you recognize this, we went, he went down to see Dave oh, so long ago, before COVID um, or COVID lockdowns, I honestly can't remember, to, uh, to do that rear brake conversion to, uh, or rear hub conversion to fit the Polo 6 and 2 GTI rear brakes. And obviously we've now got a clear track ahead of us. So let's jump in Dave's car and uh, yeah, let's have a look. Wow, that's low down and I'm old, so I make noises. <laughs> there you go, here's some stickers. Okay. You're rear home with thing. Yeah, I'll be all right. He says, gripping it with both hands. <laughs> he looks like he's enjoying himself. Yeah, he's cool, he's loving it. I've missed these mates. I have, yeah. It's been too long, what, it's two years? Yeah, Three two years. years? No, we cancelled two, didn't we? Yeah. So three years essentially. Yeah, bloody hell. All right, all right. I'm back again. No, it doesn't work yet. Oh, Dave, that'd be perfect today. I bet the heated seats work, though, don't they? Heated heat seats. Yeah, right. just what we need today. Heated seats work. I, I, I built another golf instead. on the last corner tells me that was not your quickest lap. No, I think that was more of a fun lap. <laughs> God, how much fuel have you gone through? Uh, three quarters of a tank. Jesus. And you're doing it again tomorrow? So there we go. Managed to keep hold of the camera. You did, but to be fair, you did have to use a few hands. Hey, huh? what can I say? I, I always have to use two hands. <laughs> Hello, mate. Just turn around and go straight back out. Yeah, I know. It's tempting, isn't it? It is. I'm just, I'm, I'm just looking at it. It's, it is a bit hot. I'll, 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 just, I'll give it a couple of seconds. Yeah. <laughs> my bloody my dash dropped down then as well. There we go. I might take mine out then. Yeah. Yeah, there's a point. I think I've only done like seven laps. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done seven laps in the last hour. Yeah, it's like nine quid a lap at the moment. I could have done that any quicker. That was probably one of my best laps of the day. Right, this is where I've got no brakes whatsoever now. They're fully cooked. Yes, I can smell that. <laughs> when I had the door open just then, I thought, hmm. Yeah, I might have to have a little break after this lap. I'll take the blue one out. Yeah. Especially because the brake fluid's like yeah. five years old. <laughs> and about 400 degrees. About yeah. <laughs> Hotter than Satan's ball bag. <laughs> oh, 
can you smell that? Yeah. What is it? Tires, brakes, yeah, clutch, brakes. all of the above. Yeah, that's done well. Right, so I said, we've got a huge amount of cars here. So we're all about to line up to go and do the parade lap and um, get some photos on the track. Perfect timing, just as we came off the parade lap. Pools, pints, mobile bar was here. So for most people, it was time to grab yourself a beer and chill out for the evening. But unfortunately, as we saw earlier, Drew's head gasket had let go on track. But for tomorrow for you. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't lose it coming around the top. Now the great thing is about the National League is everyone just rallies together. Everyone wants everyone to have a great time. So bunch of people got together, jumped on the tools to help Drew out and actually changed the head gasket on this 16 valve trackside in the paddock. Now it took about four hours but I'm pleased to say that Drew managed to drive off to the hotel that evening and then back his 200 mile drive home the next day. And while all that was going on, Julia decided to change the wheels on hers as well. So Julia usually runs her car super low on skinny little wheels and tires, but this time she wanted to put something a bit bigger on to get a bit of better grip around the track. So while everyone's drinking a beer, Julia's here changing the wheels on her car. So it's the national meet after dark. It's proper dark here at Kerber. Obviously there's no lights. Um, yeah, it's just a couple of torches on people's tents. Just a bunch of people in campers, tents, just chilling. It's pretty dark at this end of the paddock, but you can't even see me. So let's head on down back here. So with a camping chair and a cooler full of beers, this is where I spent the next few hours. Just chatting with my mates who I hadn't seen for years. Much, much, much later. Right, so it's 20 past 12, one of the last men standing, but I got to get some sleep and we'll do this again in the morning. So I'll see you in the morning. It's day two, so it's time to get in the shower, have a Red Bull and have a look about. Right, so it's Sunday. I've packed up and there's a lot going on. So as you'll see, quite a few people have packed their stuff up, but it doesn't mean that the day is over. It's far from it. Today's actually the main day. There's people out on track. We'll have a look through the paddock and see what's there, but also up in the top field uh, is the show and shine. So we'll have a look who's in the paddock and then we'll see what's going on in the show and shine. Let's go. Looking in the paddock behind me, we've got Dave's beautiful Jetta Coupe. Really like that car. Obviously, it's a Jetta Coupe. And then, yeah, let's have a look round. So in here, we've got the cars that are lined up that are going on track at the moment. Because it's not just Mark IIs today. So there's some Mark Ones, there's some Audis, there's a TT, an old Audi 80, which is pretty cool. So yeah, looking at it, we've got, these guys are out on track at the moment. So then walking down here, you can see that we've got a fine selection of Mark IIs. This red one's just been out on track. Then we've got Baz's two liter ABF converted Mark II. We've got Mark's 1.6 eight valve. So again, check him out on YouTube, eight valve CL Golf. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. So we've got mine, I'm not out on track today. We've got this Audi 
which I think it's an 80 Quattro. And then, yeah, we've got um, another 180. There's a lot of 180 Mark IIs this year. Looks really great in this colour. I think it's Nardo Grey or something very close. And it's a really interesting choice of wheels. These are... I don't actually know what these wheels are. If you do, if you know what these wheels are, leave them in the comment down below. I'd be really interested to find out or I'll try and track the owner down and ask him. Inside, it's got really nicely retrimmed standard GTI cloth and black leather surrounds. So really nicely done. Then obviously we've got Dave's 3.2 V6. So Dave's car, we went out in that yesterday. Absolute weapon. And I really should actually sort of spend some time with Dave talking about this car, but I feel like today isn't the day because again, he's out on track or rather his missus Paulina is out on track. Obviously Paulina is probably going to beat that thing harder than Dave because her car of choice back home is actually a supercharged VR6 Corrado. So um, yeah, so she's not going to go gentle on Dave's car. Then we've got Julia's little 1.6. Again, this is out on track today. Fitted some larger wheels with some regular tyres, so not stretched and not on adapters, but they kind of rubbed a bit, so we've swapped them back. And yeah, Julia's out on track today. She's over there. Hello, Julia. Then, um, yeah, we've got this. Again, really purposeful looking Mark II. Yeah, that thing is an absolute monster. I'll have a proper look at that on track later. We've got this Mark 1 lining up. That's a really cool looking Mark 2 there. And out with a TT today. This and this there. And this as well, yeah? Yeah. What's in this? Uh, one eight volt. Yeah. Uh, it's got rods in it. IHRW 34 turbo running about 306 bhp. Um, got a clay ballast SD. Pulled everything, just trying to put the power down today. Yeah. And anything else. Nice. Um, so which is quicker, this or the TT round the track? Yeah? Well, we'll find out when oh, we Oh, look at that look on his face. We'll find out when we get the times later. So we'll see what the times are like. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. This is absolutely bone stock. Is it? With remold tyres. Stock on remolds. Yes. Get it's in. Like you on one side, I think. Yeah, you on one side. Wow. Well, look. I mean, if you go off, you go off. You just break it, don't you? Yeah. Good luck, have fun. <clears throat> right, so um, yeah, that's kind of the paddock. We're down here, we're gonna head up to the show and shine. You're right. And, um, and yeah, we'll see what's up here. And we've got Matt from Traxlag. Um, yeah, he had a bit of an off earlier. So yeah, that was, uh, that wasn't good. There's been a, a few more offs this year than there normally would be. So. It seems today especially, the track is a bit slippier. I mean, it's a shame that's not out on track today really, isn't it? <clears throat> so there you go, that's the paddock. There's a load of cool stuff down here. A load of people still got their tents up. And yeah, it's, it's just quite chilled out today. It's a bit overcast, it's a bit cold. We haven't had any rain, so that's great news. We'll take a look up at the show and shine. We'll have a little walk up the paddock lane, up to the gate, and then we'll see what's up here. A load of Mark IIs all lined up. I don't actually know how many we've got here. The other night I counted 31, but we've had a lot more arrive since then. Obviously this was out on track yesterday. Really? I did not realize that this was a carb 1600. So we then got this beautiful, I think Monza blue, 180. It's done a lot of work this over the years and it still looks great. Then parked next to that is a Helios Blue G-plate. Now I can only imagine it started life as a 16 valve. It's got blue Recaro interior, it's super clean. Now it's got these OZ Super T's down here with some big Tarox, I'm guessing six pots behind it. So again, great set of wheels. But then as we go up to the engine bay, there we go, look at that, that is something special. So we've got a 16 valve G60 engine and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, that is spotless. Now obviously because the charger's at the front and it's a 16 valve, we've got the alternator at the back, which is how VW Motorsport did it back in the day. Yeah, this is a really nice piece of kit. 
and um, yeah, fair play to the guy who put it together. Then we've got Dan's little BBS Mark II. Obviously always super clean, always great to see Dan when he's up here and out and about at the shows. Obviously he's got the World Chef Media stickers. Martin, if you watch this far into the video, it's a shame you couldn't make it here this year and I hope to see you again next time. This supercharged VR6 on some B-Stars again. Great set of wheels, but I might be, I might be biased. And then we've got a Vortec supercharger on this VR6. And again, super clean install, really clean and tidy. Yeah, that's a really nicely converted VR6. And the bodywork is beautiful too. So again, another great car here. We've got Shadow Sport here as well. Great to see the guys back again supporting the club. So they're here sponsoring the show and shine for the last couple of years. Then we get further up here and we've got Chris's rally. So Chris sold this a few years ago and he's just bought it back. So here we go. This was obviously the one that got away. So it's great to see it back in Chris's hands. We've got, again, really clean 16 valve here. Got it next to Drew's 16 valve. This is the one that went pop on track and um, the guys did the head gasket in the, uh, in the paddock last night. We've got Dave's freshly rebuilt eight valve GTI. Again, having a look up here, we've got a load of really clean Mark IIs. We've got Tim's White of GTI. We've got this beautiful edition one. I'll see you in a bit. So that's, that's the first oak green that I've seen so far here. So, and yeah, it's really clean. A lovely early eight valve GTI here. Wow. Yeah, the engine on this really puts mine to shame. <laughs> I say I haven't seen any oak greens. Then we've got another one. This thing looks like a one in 10 million. Crack wheels. Now obviously we've seen that 16 valve G60. Now this is a proper limited. This is one of the, I think, 71 cars that they made. It's all in this sort of dark gray with, uh, yeah, 71. Got the whole right up here. But yeah, looking at it, super clean inside, really nice. Black heated leather interior, BBS RMs. obviously super rare car and as if by magic there's another one i mean this is an absolute treat to see two of them side by side again absolutely how they should be a set of rms black leather interior leaf strike around the grill and the vw motorsport badge so yeah absolute wolf in sheep's clothing up until the r32 these were the most powerful production cars that volkswagen made i believe yeah really really special and the values on these have absolutely gone crazy it's definitely the one that got away i mean these were like 10 15 000 pounds at one point and like everything you think oh, it'll get cheaper but also at the time a gtr is about 500 pounds so um yeah absolutely something special and really nice to see two of them here together so it's time to grab my helmet and do some passenger rides. Right, so we're in the car with Mark. You be gentle, Mark. I'll be as gentle as I can. Oh, that's cute. I'm joking. Yeah.
That was smooth, mate. It's good, mate. That has got a lot of grit. <laughs> yeah, it's right for 1.6. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I'm, I'm good. Right then, see you in a bit. <laughs> yeah, Dave is sideways all the time. So, Dave, is this a fast lap or a fun lap? It's a fun lap. They're all fun laps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else are we doing here? Having fun out there? Yeah. Having fun? Oh, always. Not at the moment, this. Is that an egg sandwich? No, it's a chicken and bacon. Thank God for that. <laughs> That's all they do at the thing. Yeah. Because we've got to eat and run. The boys, boys. Oh, God. Egg sandwiches. Again, three and a half hours in the car home. No, no one needs that in their life, mate. No. I mean, you can blame it on a kid, I suppose. Pauline might be able to, but I can. See you later. And just like that, it's as if we were never here. There's a handful of us left, and we're just packing up and getting out of here. So yeah, just got to put the event shelter away, and that's it. So I'm going to get in the car. That is absolutely jam-packed with everything from the weekend. And I'm going to start the two-hour journey home. So guys, look, it's been an amazing weekend. Already we're making plans to do this again next year. So. What more can I say? Amazing weekend, great fun on track, really chilled atmosphere. Guys, if you can make it next year, absolutely come along. But with that in mind, I'm going home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.